All right, Chelsea fans, we are back with a video. Huge announcement this morning. Wesley Fofana has signed for Chelsea. It is official. We're going to break everything down and talk about how he fits into this Chelsea defense. All right, Chelsea fans, let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, the, the signing that we knew was coming, we just had to wait for it to get done. Um, I think that there's a lot of excitement around Wesley Fofana coming from Leicester City. Not quite a record signing in terms of most expensive defenders, which we'll touch on, uh, but a massive signing nonetheless. Um, upon signing, uh, Wesley talking to ChelseaFC.com said, the last two days have been really big days for me, and I'm very happy. I trained this morning with the team, and it's a dream for me. I'm very excited to start playing games for the fans and the club. I'm here to win trophies. The Champions League, Premier League, FA Cup, Carabao Cup, everything. I came here to win, and the club is built to win trophies, so I'm here to continue that, end quote. Uh, that's the mentality that Chelsea players need to have. That's the mentality that Chelsea as a club have put into their players that the only level of success uh, are trophies, and we need them, especially after last season, Tuka losing in two cup finals, um, nowhere close to the Premier League title. We need trophies to fuel this club, and Bully knows that too. He does it with the Dodgers. He's going to do it with Chelsea, and this is a signing to help us get closer to that goal. Uh, speaking of Bully, he had some quotes on this one too. Uh, he said, quote, Wesley is a hugely promising defender who has already proven his quality in the Premier League at a young age. We are delighted we were able to bring one of Europe's most exciting talents to Chelsea and further strengthen that area of her squad, both for this season and many more to come, end quote. Clearly, Todd is not only looking for success now, he wants it in the future. The majority of our signings, obviously not, Kaladu Koulibaly are young, promising, but established right now. Chelsea are definitely playing the, paying the English tax to get proven Premier League players in uh, so that they can hit the ground running for the most part. So again, as far as the club are concerned, they are looking at this as a today and in the future signing. He's established in the Premier League. Um, tough negotiations with Leicester, but they went from no way, no chance to well, here you go. So huge credit to Bully and the team for getting this one across the line. Massively, massively important. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is the contract because everyone loves talking about money. So it's a seven-year deal. And Simon Johnson from The Athletic, friend of the podcast, I might add, uh, tweeted out that he understands that Chelsea's fee for Wesley Fofana is 69.5 million pounds. No more than that. Um, that would protect uh, Harry Maguire is still being the most expensive defender uh, in the history of the league. So cool. Chelsea made sure that they didn't uh, take that crown away from him. Uh, it, the other interesting thing is Chelsea aren't going to pay until next year. So great. We get a little bit of an extension, which is weird because Leicester City definitely need money. Um, but, uh, you know, again, another long term contract. I think what are we here in like another six years for Reese and Mason? Uh, I think pretty much everyone that we brought in this season is on like a six year deal. Uh, the bully and company are looking to commit to players for the long run and give them confidence in their future at Chelsea and comfort so they can go out and perform. Uh, six, seven year deals is crazy. I remember when we did it for Keppa. Uh, I think a lot of us would feel like we got burned on that. Maybe we were rushed into that one. I think a lot of people feel a lot better about this. Uh, you know, Fofana is going to have time to not only um, grow as a player, but, you know, lead the back line, hopefully for many years to come, seven years. So he's got time to go. All right, and then the last thing we have to talk about is his role at Chelsea, right? Uh, so he's coming in, he's considered a generational talent. Uh, so many people that we've talked to, uh, CFC Central, Sam, we've talked to Ollie, we've talked to Tweeds, uh, we've talked to you know Leicester City fans and things like that. Massive, French fans as well. He is, he tore up the French league, uh, he came to Leicester, immediately established himself as one of the best players in the entire squad uh, as a young player coming from Ligue 1. And, and now he's at Chelsea. And this is, a, I think, a widely respected signing around Europe in the league. And I think that it gives a lot of validity and credence to Chelsea as a club and their ambition. Um, you know, again, I've said it before, this is a long-term signing. 
Fofana's got a lot to grow into and a lot to prove, but the great thing is his foundation base is already so high. He's going to deliver a ton uh, for us. Um, the other thing, you know, he's trying to break into the French national team for the World Cup, as are many players, or they're trying to keep their place in the team. He's going to be so motivated this season to have a strong start to the season with Chelsea. Look, is he going to get there? I don't know. It's going to be tough, right? He has massive names ahead of him in the French national team. But that's where he sees himself today already. And that just shows the mentality and the desire he has to be successful. And that just helps Chelsea because he's going to want to perform at a high level to show, um, uh, you know, the French national team that he should be there for the World Cup. So uh, great to hear for us. And he's going to get the minutes, as, as we know. Um, he's got tactical flexibility. He's played right center back, left center back, central center back. He's playing a back three or a back four. Uh, from everything we've hear, heard, and again, go check out CFC Central's uh, breakdown on his sub stack. He can pretty much do it all. He's going to provide so much flexibility for us, especially as we just saw. We had to play back four uh, against Southampton, and it was not comfortable for our team. He's young. He's fast. He's he's you know agile. He's explosive. He is a player that can fill in. Um, you know when we maybe have older defenders that need a rest, he may be able to slot into center back. Uh, it's the same thing with Trevo. Trevo has played left back, center back, right back. Um, I'm sorry, left center back, center center back, right center back for us this season and last season. And so now you've got two very young, experienced uh, defenders with a lot of flexibility who. Treble played in league on too. So I think that they're probably going to have some chemistry right off the bat, which will be great. Uh, the other thing that you're going to get is unlocking Reese James. Look at the beginning of the season, we've had to see Reese play at right center back to start the match. Uh, eventually Ruben goes into midfield. He pushes on to right wing back and we've seen how effective he is at right wing back. I know Tuchel's kind of having to shoehorn uh, Reese in at right center back, but no more, no more issues with that. Even if it's, you know, Aspi, uh, Fofana, Trevo, there will be options so that Reese can play his best position for the team, get in those dangerous positions, uh, drive on, get the crosses in the box, combine in the attack. We are wingbacks FC. We've been saying it for over a year now. If our wingbacks aren't clicking, then Chelsea's system under Thomas Tuchel is not clicking. And again, we saw that against Southampton. Wingbacks offered nothing because we're in a back four. Now, Reese James moving up an attack, doing the business, being a monster with Fofana behind him. I mean, think about that pairing. That could be a six, seven, eight year pairing as well uh, and just see what they have to do. So again, so, so excited, not only for the immediacy, but obviously for the future. Wesley Fofana is a Chelsea player. It's official. We got to get the trophies back. There's been plenty of chaos this so far this season. We need the trophies. By the way, if you want the shirts, they are available on sale. Check out our Shopify uh, link in the description. We need Wesley Fofana. We landed him. It's a statement sign. You should be so excited, Chelsea fans. So comment below what you make of this. Out of 10, is he a 10 out of 10? Is he a 7 out of 10? Is he a 6 out of 10? What do you think? Uh, but anything under an 8, I think we're going to be a little bit worried about. Anyways, full podcast coming soon. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our podcast, we do hour plus long breakdowns of every single match. Plus, we have interviews with people like Matt Law and Nisar Kinsla. Um, so check it out. London is Blue Podcast. That's out. Wesley Fofana, deal done. On to the next one.